Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the DCI Systems Limited Q1 FY25 Earning Conference Call. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company, which are based on the beliefs, opinions, and expectations of the company as on date of this call. The statements are not a guarantee of future performance and involve risk and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. As a reminder, all the participants' line will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Dr. Raghavendra Rao, Chairman, DCX Systems. Thank you, and over to you, Mr. Rao. Thank you. Uh, thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Namaste and welcome to uh, all of you for Q1 FI25 earning conference call. With me, I have our CFO, Mr. Divakariya and Mr. Shivkumar, VP Operation, and Mr. Neeraj, DGM Corporate Affairs. I would like to share some of the recent development with you all. DCA system has secured a major order worth 1,250 crore from the LNT for the manufacturing and supply of electronic modules. And uh, again, we got one more order for 32.21 crores for supply of cable and wire harness assembly for a domestic and international customer. This contract proved our strong marketing position, manufacturing capability and quality and the commitment. Further, our MOU of uh, supply of service with the Israeli Aerospace, Israeli Aerospace India Service Private Limited, which covers the supply and repair, service, spare parts, and electronic components. This would living leverage our MRO capabilities and the partnership in the industry. In addition to our subsidiary, Ranil Advanced System is fully operational which has improved our supply chain management and cash flows. Moreover, our JV with uh, IA Elta Systems Israel called NIAT Systems <coughs> is an advancing, advancing the development of obstacle deduction system for the railway sector. This cutting edge product utilizing radar using a radar safety and efficiency. We are confident of major market share for this product in India as well as overseas. Presently our order book is 30th June is about 1937 crore with healthy, we have a very healthy pipeline order. <coughs> Use a confidence with growing our order book. We expect <coughs> we excited about this development or confident to grow our company. At this point, I would like to invite our CFO, Mr. Divakaraya, who will provide an overview of the company financial performance. Divakar, you can take over now. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ra. Good afternoon. We appreciate your joining us today as we present a detailed overview of our financial and operational performance for the quarter ended June 30th, 2024. First, I will present you with the standard results followed by the consolidated results for the period ending the date June 2024. In Q1, FI25, we achieved a revenue of 138.08 crores, comparable to 170.10 crores achieved during the same period last year. Our EBIT for the quarter reached rupees 11.77 crores, down from 18.71 crores in Q1 FI24. The EBIT margin was 8.52 
compared to 11% in the corresponding quarters of the previous fiscal year. So, fact for the quarter stood at 4.51 crores, comparable to rupees 9.85 crores reported in the same quarter of the previous year. EPS for this quarter stood at 0 0.40. When it comes to consolidated results, I will present you with the details now. The total sales on consolidated revenue achieved during Q1 FI25 is recorded at 138.08 crores on consolidated basis, compared to Rs. 170.10 crores recorded during the same quarter last year. Our EBIT for the quarter reached Rs. 10.70 crores, down from 18.51 crores, which was recorded in Q1 FY24. The EBIT margin was 7.75 crores, for 7.75 percent, compared to 10.88 percent in the corresponding quarter of the previous fiscal year. The back for the quarter stood at 2.95 crores, compared to 9.60 crores reported in the same quarter of the previous fiscal year. Thank you. We now invite you to share any questions, feedback or insights as we open the floor for discussion. Over to you back. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question will be from the line of Deepak Saha from DR Choksi Sensor Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hi, I'm audible. Yes, you are. Thank you for the opportunity. So my first question is on the last part. You have uh, reported uh, in the financial somewhere around 475 crore of assets on NAP. Just trying to understand, uh, have we completely concluded the POT process and uh, uh, if you can break up, uh, give the break up of this particular number of 475 crore assets, and what is the visibility on the NIAC side, side in terms of uh, getting uh, the tenders uh, from government? This is my first question. Mm -hmm. Mr. Deepak, I am not able to hear you properly. Uh, literally, it is That's breaking. Uh, I accept NIAC. I didn't understand anything on this question. Your voice was breaking um, completely. Uh, is, it, is it better now? Is it better now, sir? No, no, that, no, some, uh, I don't know, uh, it is breaking oh, and uh, some background noise too. Yeah, hello, is it better now? Yeah, it's better now, please go ahead. Yeah, so I'm saying, uh, in the financials, you have mentioned uh, NIAC uh, Systems Limited, the total assets for NIAC System Limited is around 475 crore. So, just trying to understand if you can share some color, have we concluded uh, the POT process from ENTA and what is the breakup of this uh, asset on the NIAT uh, for this 475 crore? Secondly, on the visibility in terms of revenue side or, or the tender side uh, from NIAT, have we started uh, getting any update as far as this tenders or any visibility has started coming in for the tenders? Oh, okay. What I understand, I don't know. Okay. Uh, see, in the QIB, we rise uh, totally of 500 crore and leaving the expenditure of this thing about 480 crores, I believe. Okay, you're talking of the QIB utilization? No, yeah. sir, I'm not talking QIB allocation. In your financials, this year's Q1 FI24 financials that you have shared, there are provisional numbers for the subsidiaries, both in terms of revenue and assets. So, on the assets of NIA System Limited, you have mentioned 475 crore worth of asset in NIA as of June 30th, 2024. 
So we're just trying to understand the breakup of that particular number. And have we concluded the technology transfer process from ELTA? Uh, Prasanna? Yeah, go ahead. Sir, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh, uh, what I understood the question is, we want to break up of the assets of NIAT Systems Limited. So in the NIAT yes. Systems Limited, there is a non-current asset of 2,603.45 million rupees. Majority are predominantly it consists of 2,512.85 each for intangible and other is for non-intangible and other financial assets. And uh, one more question here, total assets is 475.21 crore. That's what the question I heard. Out of that, 260.34 crore belongs to non-current assets and 214.87 crore belongs to current assets, which is involving uh, bank balance, cash and cash equivalent, other financial assets, and other current assets. So total put together, it's a 475.21 crore assets, which belongs to NIAT Systems Limited. Okay, okay, so on the non-current assets, sir, is it possible to take it as a non-current asset? No, it's, uh, we have fixed assets of around 8.83 crores rupees. Okay, okay, okay. Large is intangible. Okay, sir. Fine. Uh, sir, on the, on the uh, tender side that we were saying last quarter, that since we are ready for mass production, is there any update uh, that you are getting uh, for, for the particular product in, as far as uh, possible uh, you know, commercial angle is concerned? No. Okay. Not yet. No. Okay. I don't know what is the problem in your line here. I am not able to hear properly. But you are talking about... Sir, I am saying is there any uh, update on the NIA business side uh, for the possible tenders that yeah, you were yeah. talking? Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, let me, let me tell you. Uh, this is, as you know, this is a global uh, technology what we have. It is not only for India. Couple of things, uh, as you know, we got a uh, number proto order and it has been fully tested and working fine for uh, different countries and different weather conditions, including the uh, Indian uh, uh, weather condition, everything. And now still we are waiting for the, uh, the big tender. Now it is in the uh, very positive, may be expected very shortly. And you know, there are a lot of process to be done in the qualification, everything. Now everything is done and there is a one, no, there are some final modification tuning is required for the, which is required for their weather condition, which we are working to maybe this will be completed by, I think this month end, the final version. After that, there are some reserve orders, uh, not in India, somewhere else, and uh, reserve orders are given to give some of the, uh, the portion of order. Then we are also expecting to get a tender. Uh, from Indian uh, Railway also very shortly. That's what uh, we are working towards to know what is the status and other things. And uh, more or less, we are good to go for a bulk orders. Okay, but okay. To sir. Get the, let's, see, let's to get the tenders from dates and everything is not yet confirmed. But we are uh, fully focused to get the uh, things move as quick as possible. Now because product is ready to go. Okay, okay, sir. So, uh, coming to the operational side, uh, if I see for this particular quarter, Raniel Advanced System uh, did a revenue of around uh, 40 crore, 42 crore odd. Now, I assume this is largely for internal consumption. But if I see your gross margin despite having the uh, you know, utilization from Raniel, that has fallen quite substantially for this particular quarter. If you can share some color, why exactly uh, profit margins are looking, especially gross margin is looking so tepid for this quarter? Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Renil, of course, whatever we done for a 42 crore revenue, it is a completely internal consumption. Okay, and uh, there is a uh, uh, dip in the, uh, the uh, improve that is increase in the material value. There are two reasons. One thing, you know, uh, DCS gives a PO and we get a PO from customer to DCS, foreign customer or domestic customer. 
then we buy the pcg printed circuit board from the ranil whatever price has been uh, discussed and agreed both parties has been given now when ranil try to buy the material of course this is a very old program this will be about 3 years program used to buy the some of the board from the outside now from last uh, two quarter we are uh, uh, majority board we are doing in house there are bill of material as i mentioned in the long time also there are uh, contract between dcx and the foreign oems or domestic oems there is a bom guarantee that means any price variation the oems has to compensate the money because of the this all long time program 3 year 4 years program once we have a po this will keep on supply up to 2 to 3 years the the variation in the electronic price we cannot say because of the price increase let us say today i quoted 100 dollars the price become around 10 dollar we cannot go back to customer for immediately to get the amended po there is a process now dcs has a give a po to ranil renil buys the material with a higher price which we are approved internally we got approved from the oems so they have to buy when we bought for a 100 rupees material they spend 110 rupees the naturally the material consumption goes because i need to account it in the market so the 10 rupees whatever it is additional it has to get from dcs internal dcs has to get from the customer so that is the process how this process work once we have a project completion of the program end we need to go with the complete details boss this is the price you given earlier now this is the price got increased which you approved by email now i need this uh, price to be amended and give you amended po then i need to raise a bill this has happened in the last quarter also in fact in the march also it will be uh, price we need to go anyway one program it is uh, closing very shortly in the month then we need to consolidate everything then we need to go back to customer this is the price this is the high price has been done we done we approved it as per the contract you need to reimburse the money so this is called a bomb guarantee material but renil i cannot this is my own sister concern i cannot tell uh, you supply as it is no that i have to follow certain process which they are following now renil whatever spend money it has to be reimbursed by the from the foreign oem or domestic oem so that's the reason the renil made a more consumption in the raw material consumption has been more okay then this has to be go maybe we are getting closed in a month time we need to go consolidate report and take this amendment uh, po and raise another bill for the uh, reimbursement of the money okay uh, that thanks thanks for the detailed answer sir just one thing last quarter since we also faced a similar situation so uh, did we uh, get the final number for the last quarter we had around 740 crore odd revenue so we also had similar you know increase in uh, raw material uh, case so did we uh, do we have any number now how much would be recoverable uh, from the vendors from the customers especially not vendors no no Uh, no, I cannot tell you exact number. We try to get the amount of uh, reimbursement we need to get. Presently, we prepared a note and send uh, everything until customer uh, approve. Yes, whatever the sheet that can send, there is a process, and also there is a backlog. Maybe another uh, uh, balance about 500, 600 module to be completed. I don't know any price further going up. We still purchasing it. once we freeze all the materials come then i can decide exactly i can tell you maybe in the next couple of weeks what is the amount presently is a quite a good amount we need to get it i don't have a figure exactly now you know you supposed to get last quarter money also this quarter money also we need to climb back from the customer okay and and that should help us in uh, targeting our objective of you know getting towards double digit ebitda margin sir i am not sure i am not sure but i cannot comment on that right now because customer has to say yes then only i can tell you this is going to affect maybe in the next uh, quarter this figures okay and then, sir on the employee benefit expenses side i mean uh, if we look at the run rate this particular quarter we had little bit higher number earlier that number used to be around 33 35 million odd every quarter that has gone up to uh, 49 million this particular quarter so are we uh, have we increased the team size for any particular uh, 
you know subsidiaries or anything if you can share some color why exactly this number has gone up yes there is there is a manpower increase also i i given a uh, hike to the current employees there is a manpower okay. also got increase in the uh, manpower technical side and commercial side also uh, existing employees uh, we need to make a yearly hike na for march which we had done definitely goes up for little bit that is uh, about uh, 30 lakh or 40 lakh right right so sanna it's a consolidated basis it's a consolidated basis so we have added the manpower in uh, ranin and niyat and we have a height in dta which contributes the height in employee cost in this quarter as compared to last uh, year same quarter yeah. okay sir okay sir so what what last thing uh, before i pause on the queue um, i mean i know we are quite tightly about in kind of guidance uh, but even as a percentage of the mix uh, do we expect uh, raniel uh, to start its commercial production uh, other than uh, dcx and uh, if we can get say 5 6% of the contribution uh, of the, to the overall revenue from raniel outside dcx uh, if you if you can share some color like how the mix should be this year are we still going to be 85 90% on system integration or we are getting some 4 5% additional from uh, raniel for external customers that's also my end so i'll call back on you thank you yeah Uh, there is a good opportunity for Ranil to get a direct orders, and we are working on it. That will be a, of course, it will be a better margin and uh, the new customer, and uh, that will be. We are working with uh, many things with the Ranil directly, and we have a good chance to win uh, uh, big bulk of uh, PO, and we are uh, almost uh, confident to get in uh, very shortly. That is, we are working. and secondly on the existing dcx uh, mixes of course majority is our strength is uh, uh, system integration uh, and also the cable also is growing now uh, because of the recent order what we received for a 32.5 we expect uh, some of the cable business also in uh, quite a good amount for the cable business also getting increased which we are waiting for the lot of pipeline uh, pos to come and uh, looks uh, mix of and also the kitting will be as a second biggest opportunity and maybe this year uh, we have a of course uh, majority is from the system integration may be about 60 70% and uh, rest will be divided earlier was 98% now we are able to increase other domain i am not reducing system integration i am increasing the other domain like uh, cable pcba and kitting so we are we are a very focused and uh, opportunities are there in those areas also we are working on it thank you thank you sir thank you very much the next question is from the line of mihir manohar from kahlenian asset management please go ahead uh, yeah hi thanks for giving the opportunity uh, sir on this claims uh, i don't know claims approval part uh, i wanted to understand what is the frequency of the claim approval which happens I mean, uh, does the customer approve the claims on a quarterly basis, or is it like a uh, uh, six-monthly basis, or is it like the entire program when it gets completed and then you receive the claims? I mean, then the claim overall process happens. Uh, so, how is the process over there? See, uh, the what uh, you know our business very well, and uh, this what we received PO, it is a long-term PO and heavy-duty PO. Okay, all POs comes in the uh big uh, numbers and big quantity this will go nearly 2 to 3 years in the life so what is the contract between the oems and dcx any bill of material variation price variation in the component they have to reimburse the money in the when the end of the program okay once project completed and it has to go with that once we supply completed in the last lot when we go immediately and uh, tell them that boss this all the things has been done this is the extra money we spent now on the current program what we are working with on big po from last 3 uh, years now is getting ended maybe this month and we are already in the everything has been accounted and we go with the customer with the final figures so that program it will get close if it is a huge uh, variation suppose 
uh, they calculated uh, 30 million dollar we spent 40 million where they will go to support the cash flow not on the PO amendment they will go to fund you further advances to match the positive cash flow this is the method we are working and anyway maybe in the next uh, uh, couple of weeks we are uh, completing uh, one ma major program it's a very old PO and is getting supply complete then my team will go on to go sit there and get that is a matter of another one or two months uh, to claim back this money okay so basically the uh, positive effect of this claim back should happen next quarter hopefully <laughs> yeah sure sure uh, sir, on the pipeline, I mean, you know, if you can provide some color, you mentioned about the uh, Rani letters. There are some outside orders which are there. Are uh, there in Niyat also? You are expecting, I mean, some orders on the tender side uh, and cable also. If you can throw, you know, some color as to how are you seeing the pipeline uh, and when, you know, when, when should one expect the materialization of this pipeline to happen? Pipeline is very big. I can say you that much. You know, we cannot tell you the numbers. We don't have a practice of mention until we receive the PO. Pipeline is a quite a good uh, uh, deal and uh, now presently 1937 crores what we have a PO that uh, we, we know the DCX style uh, we every day will not get PO every month uh, we will get only the big POs in the 3-4 times and we are expect a very very healthy uh, pipeline uh, maybe in uh, I don't know exactly very shortly we can expect and uh, and good to go. Anyway, you came to know, I will immediately announce it once it is at a PO on the Rani or DCX uh, can be known. But it is a very healthy and strong uh, pipeline is uh, ready to come. Sure, so sure. And we are expecting, I mean, even Rani uh, outside, uh, outside DCX is also showing good inquiries, right? Yes, sir. And also, I like to inform you, we are just, uh, I want to like to tell you, we are already got uh, getting direct PO. One PO is already received uh, from the uh, foreign customer to uh, run in directly. So, first article has been done. They are very happy. We expected a big repeated order from that, one of the foreign customer, new customer. Okay, sure. Understood. Yes. Uh, sir, and the uh, last, I mean, lastly, was on the double digit margins. You know, we are looking at the uh, backward integration via Ranil, uh, plus also entering into products uh, with railway and uh, uh, defense jeeps also uh, looking something. So, I mean, when should one expect double digit margins to fructify for us uh, at the company level? That is a target for DCX. That's the reason. Uh, uh, see, how do we improve margin? Uh, what is the action plan for company? Of course, I want to increase double digit uh, margin very shortly. There are three things we have taken action. One is for the NIAT JV, which is a very good margin in that uh, this thing has to come. Secondly, immediately we started Renil Advanced System to uh, improve our margin and also supply chain uh, consideration. Also, uh, cash flow uh, to manage easily and start doing it. Thirdly, the cable business, what uh, we are uh, looking uh, for a big way. In fact, uh, uh, cable business is a very uh, good business with a double digit margin. So all the area, these three area we are concentrating and we are able to succeed uh, for many things. Renil, we got direct order. Renil is fully operational. The last year, one quarter itself, they done about 240 crores and made about uh, nine, uh, 9 crore EBITDA or something. Looks very positive and the company is fully focused on the improvement of margin. Definitely will not disappoint to give that, uh, uh, in fact, we are uh, working, the main goal to improve our margin. Yes, we touch the top line and top line goes very well. And also bottom line also, we have taken many precautions to improve that, like Ranil, Cable, or Niyat JV, or we are working with uh, uh, many foreign OEMs to get a technology transfer and supply to directly MOD. And uh, there are big opportunity in making in India, you know. So this all we are working. And only thing is, this all defense related, and it is not a normal business. It will take uh, uh, time. And my, uh, in my experience, what we are doing is very quick. So opening a renal in uh, one year, start revenue. Uh, we are on the full fledge of uh, quick turnaround time. So that is our motto to improve bottom line and the top line both. Sure, sir. That's really the action. Yeah. Thank you. Can I speak just one more? Uh, Mr. Mihi, may I request you to come to the uh, question queue for the follow-up questions? Sure. Thank you.
next question will be from the line of Akshada from Vivo Commercial Limited. Please go ahead. Ms. Akshada, your line has been unmuted. You can go ahead. Yeah, so I have a clarification. There's a Lockheed project that was again mentioned in this quarter uh, presentation. Is the old project or is it that the new contract that the company got? No, 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 old only, old only. Old only, okay. And so can we know why... Because that uh, is the last year... Uh, sorry? This has been Lockheed Martin. Uh, it is a world what we received 2 million PO, which we executed in the March and is updated in the presentation customer list. That's all. We have not received any PO yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. That was the clarification. This was this l and order that we have received, the 1250 crore agreement. Uh, can you tell us how long uh, will this PO last for approximately? Which I mentioned it will take uh, three, three years, two to three years, and we try to ex because customer wants urgently. Uh, that are, you know, these are all special components, special process. We are also working with uh, experience with uh, many, because of the team experience. Now we can able to pull the lead time and everything. We are in the full action plan and customer required yesterday basis. Of course, there are process, component lead time. So we try to close uh, as quick as possible in the, even though three years I have a time, but we kept a target to close within two years. That was the plan to complete. Okay. Okay, so we have around 1900 stores of order books and we are expecting some new POs as well as developments on the art side. So why are we not yeah. yet optimistic on double digit margin? So we will be able to achieve the double digit margin. Until, until we have a PO uh, on the NIAT side and the new customer, uh, how can I say uh, today? Uh, but I mentioned to improve our double digit margin, we created a Renil, Renil is doing well and also there is a direct order, is a better margin and also cable is a better margin which we are already proven and team has been, our BD team has been done fantastic. There are a couple of uh, PO on the line and uh, we are, that is our motto to immediately to gear up our uh, this thing. But I cannot tell you what is the percentage until we get a PO, work with the uh, suppliers, this is a process. And of course company is well, well focused to improve bottom line, definitely. Okay. And so your 1900 or crore book, uh, uh, or the book that we have, that is also roughly a two-year target period for completion and deliverables of all the other orders. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. You are right. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. The next question will be from the line of Vidit Shah from Spark Private Wealth Management. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, thanks for taking my question. Uh, so, uh, my first question was on uh, just a clarification on the BOM uh, guarantee pricing that we are likely to do once uh, the the contract ends or the program ends. Uh, so, how many of these programs are we going to uh, pass on prices on? Like, so how many programs do we work at one point of time uh, where we have to then pass on prices, price increases? Each and every program, this class will be there. It is a standard class for all the, the single contract, and it will be applicable for all the programs, not only one. Right. So one, 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 one. Let us have five. Uh, let us have five program going parallelly. All the uh, program got in this class, and one program completed, we need to go with the record and uh, take the reimbursement. After the program completed, we keep on going and taking it. So, so, so out of all the programs that we are running, only one program reimbursement is likely to come up in the next quarter. The others, we will still have to wait for the end of the program to get the reimbursement. Would that be right? No, I have not uh, told only one program. There are a couple of programs is getting ended and it has to be climbed back parallelly. And next program, what we are doing it for this thing and uh, this will continue. This is not a, I cannot say today whether the, even the price goes up or uh, it will go into reduce. Today, 
Uh, I have a PO from customer today. Whether how much material goes up, we don't know. Based on the market availability, emergency, volatility of the my electronic component, that depends. Now, what all this thing here? And we will go on to climb back the program wise, and we supposed to get two three program combined for what we supposed to get now. Okay, so when when do we expect us to realize all the money that we are due? Uh, oh, uh, I, I told you now. Already, I told uh, we are working, and one program is getting close in the couple of weeks. We are working the that is a major money we supposed to get to an R2 program, which we are working. And same, I repeatedly telling you, this will take uh, two to three months to get the money. We need to present it and ship this thing. Made a calculation and many things. Even though freight cost may be very insurance we paid more and the component variation there are big data to be provided it is not a, a small uh, one or two dollar this has to be go to the their approval capacity this we are working towards that and i cannot tell you the timeline today uh, but once program uh, we are getting it done very closely that is the major amount we supposed to get for this particular one or two program this will going to complete this month uh, maybe next month uh, we are submitting the documents Understood, sir. Thank you. And, 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 and uh, this, no, this is the process. This is the process. This has to be continued like this. See, today you should be happy that uh, in the, some other uh, program you will not get bomb guarantee. Whatever you take the price today and close. So for our contract to safeguard our margin, we are insisted this class to put it. So money comes today or tomorrow for me, I will not lose anything in my pocket. That is the whole uh, focus on this program. Understood, sir. And uh, yeah. if you could just also help me understand the LNT order. What is the nature of services that we are providing to LNT? Is it system integration or uh, is it uh, uh, PCBAs? Or whatever, something? whatever I am allowed to disclose, I mentioned in the my announcement. Okay, more than that, I cannot able to tell you anything. Which program, what process that I am not allowed to discuss. What we have mentioned. Manufacturing and supply of electronic module. That okay. much only I can tell you. Okay, understood. And uh, can you uh, share uh, shed some light on the uh, MRO uh, program with uh, IAI India? What, how big this opportunity is, and uh, you know when do we start benefiting from uh, this? When does this start uh, flowing through our financials? Mm, this MRO, of course, the big opportunity. You just imagine, foreign company has come uh, in Gurgaon, started a big way MRO facility in uh, the many engineers, about 30, 40 engineers they have set, and about uh, 40, 50,000 square feet uh, place they have taken, and bought all the equipment, everything. Of course, this is a big business. So, we will get, uh, I don't know the value, till I not received the PO, because I am the partner for this uh, the complete electronic system to be repaired and sent, which we are working. I don't have any uh, numbers in my mind, but uh, looking at uh, as a uh, partner, looking at their investment and uh, interest on this thing, so definitely is a big opportunity. So will we be the sole partner for electronic systems, or there will be? I'm the only partner. I am the only partner for this company for a electronic spares and module level supplier pcb assembly re repair spares what all i mentioned i will tell you what a supplier of where is that point mm. so that was the supply and repair services spare parts and electronic component and board level repair and other I am the only partner. Today, MOU signed by. Presently, I am the only partner. Yes. Okay, so the MOU has been signed between us and uh, IAI, uh, uh, and we have this. Yes. Uh, ASI, ASI, not IA. There is a Indian company is owned by IA, Israel Aerospace India Service Private Limited. Okay, got it. Yeah. Understood. So, uh, thanks for the clarification, sir, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question will be from the line of Rajesh Jain from RK Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, 
I just wanted to know, exactly. like, uh, is, uh, is your quarter one always weak? And uh, even if it is so, uh, this year the quarter one is uh, weaker than uh, uh, even by your usual standards, no? So what are the reasons for that? <laughs> I don't know. Quarter one, uh, see, uh, as I mentioned, for in many conference calls in the roadshow on my media interview, and DCX, uh, you cannot calculate uh, our revenue 100 rupees by divided by 4. So you can see uh, the my major uh, revenue, it is coming in this. Let us take example of last 1,424 crores revenue for FI 23-24. In the nine months, I done 723 crores. In the first one quarter, it is done by 746 crores. Okay, this is not after the IPO. This is seven years history. Always first, second quarter was we are uh, uh, not able to dispatch. We need to get a material qualification, licenses, internal testing, stress stress, OJT. There are many processes. So this will be completed in first and second quarter. And exactly it will go little bit uh, medium size in the third quarter. And fourth quarter it will go whatever commitment uh, we have an internally commitment of the revenue. It will go that. It is not today. This has been history of uh, uh, DCA from last six, seven years. So this will be like that only. And maybe this is going to improve once we have a Renil, Niart, and what we are talking about, the technology transfer. It will get all this thing. It will get heavy. But presently for this year also, I am looking like this only. First, second, and third. First and second quarter will be dull only. This has to be a uh, very nominal way it will go. And uh, because of the licenses, security clearance, many things on the it takes time and the testability and uh, internal process, OJT, training, many things are there. Hence, this is a standard practice and of course it is not new to the market. You also know first and second quarter. Coming back to next, uh, last year you done uh, 170 crore, this year, uh, last quarter you done 170, this 135. This all depends on the availability material. Where uh, I push maximum 741 crore. Last time I did uh, whatever left out in the March month, we done it in the uh, first quarter in the last year. Now we are maximum we planned and push 741, and whatever real uh, production happened for this quarter, we we declare in the 138 crore. That's all the reason. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, also I wanted to know your 1900 plus crore uh, order book, which you clarified. Uh, will be executed over a two-year period. Uh, what could be our operating margins on that uh, uh, yeah, broad range? Uh, can you share? As you know, I'm not allowed to because I will tell you. Today, let us take example. I have a hundred dollar PO. My margin assume about ten rupees. Okay, ten rupees margin maybe goes up, maybe comes down based on the operations, based on the process. Maybe I negotiate with a better price with supplier. Our process can be improved. Now we have our own EMS uh, inside. So we have a better visibility. But as on today, uh, now we have started procurement of material. We calculated some freight cost, which we have taken from customer insurance. This all depends on how much it will going to happen until you have a material, build it properly. Till then, we cannot uh, able to figure it out what is exactly for your margins. I hope you understand uh, my difficulty. I cannot tell you the numbers because practically once you buy the material, convert it, bill it. Then only finance can tell boss you have done this thing, this thing, this thing. Today you are asking me, yes, I have a figure, what I quoted, quotation prepared and sent, which I cannot disclose now. Maybe this is not relevant, maybe it will go up. In my view, it should go up. Okay, this is the situation now. And uh, this will go into because... Now, based on the experience, based on the supply chain, make in India, many products to be bought in India, many things are advantage for these orders now. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next follow-up question will be from a line of Deepak Saha from DR Choksi Sensor Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hi, so I have uh, one follow up. Uh, in uh, the QIT money, I think uh, in one of the previous calls also you alluded to the fact uh, we are in the advanced talks with uh, some other companies, OEMs, 
or EPSUs as well uh, for forming a JV. What is the development on that side? If you can give some color. <laughs> See, regarding QIB money, uh, we are already sent about 10 million first installment uh, to NIAF JV. Uh, rest another goes 5 million maybe this month, another 10 million to be sent in next uh, four months as per the schedule goes. Balance money, what we rise for about 200 crore uh, for the technology transfer and defense JV. And uh, I may give you good news shortly. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's fine. One last thing. Uh, so uh, on the overall side uh, for the revenue, we ended up, you know, FI23, uh, somewhere around 1200 crore, FI24, 1400 crore, FI25, and I understand it is subject to a lot of uh, CEOs also that flew in. What kind of numbers we are targeting for the year, FI25 internally? I don't know the concrete number that we use, if you can also give, that would also be helpful, sir. Thank you. As you know, I don't have a practice to give a guidance number and uh, you know uh, the DCS, uh, you are uh, all my respect to my all my shareholders. You know, uh, we are every day, we started with cable, then system integration. So after the IPO, we are geared up with EMS, art, and now maybe a technology transfer or make in India program. Business-wise, we are growing. Definitely, growth part is good. But I cannot give you the right now the numbers of my guidance number. I'm sorry about it. But definitely, we are working to uh, get a more... Uh, of course, that is my ambition, uh, to grow further and have a target, internal target, to achieve more fat and uh, more uh, revenue, in fact. And this is what I make in India also giving a lot of boost uh, to do everything and uh, we we are also establish our wings to uh, many other countries too so to bring technology bring more uh, customer we are able to succeed in that so i am look very positive and uh, the company is fully focused and i am very happy about the uh, the progress what is happening in either niart or renil or dcx or the technology transfer and uh, and the opportunity in India for uh, defense. So we are in good path and pipeline is very, very strong. This is very, very important. Yeah. Professor, one last thing, if I, if I can. On the US side, you said uh, we are targeting global market. Uh, that's fine. Uh, if you can share some color uh, with the Indian railway uh, authorities, if we have you know, interacted and what kind of response we are getting uh, for the oxygen reduction equipment uh, that we are planning to come up with. So on the domestic side, what kind of feedback uh, you are getting? I don't know. Still, I am not able to understand. It's uh, uh, very bad. And I will repeat my question. Are able to understand? Yeah, I am audible. Hello. No, yeah, your echo is coming. We are not able to. Really, I am struggled to hear you. Is it better now, sir? Is it better? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's sir, right. I am seeing on the NIAC side for the obstacle detection equipment uh, that we are building, we have definitely interacted a lot and there is a lot of market on the global side. But on the domestic side, uh, with Indian Navy authorities, uh, what is the response uh, from the domestic side uh, for the uh, particular obstacle detection equipment that we are coming up with? How is the you know response you are getting uh, from from the domestic market? Thank you. That's my last question. Hey, he's very happy about the product, and uh, more than expected, we are delivering, and uh, we we are uh, that's what we spend a lot of money, time, and uh, we expect a very big business. Uh, but till uh, uh, on the tender comes, we don't know when tender, bulk tender comes and the performance wise, they are very happy. Very, very happy. So, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we take the next question, I would like to remind the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Mihir Manohar from Carlinian Asset Management. Please go ahead.
me here or your line is unmuted you can go ahead uh, yeah hi thanks for giving the follow up uh, sir wanted to understand on the receivable side uh, as of march 24 i mean you know we had 670 crores of receivables uh, and this was because of you know bulk of our execution had happened in the month of march uh, so what is the receivables position now uh, you know uh, is there a realization which has happened from the sales is it now Not if yes, please repeat the question again. Yes, yeah, so I mean uh, our receivables as well March 24 was stood at 670 crores, uh, and this was because bulk of the execution happened in the last month, uh, and then you did billing, and then the money was yet to come. Uh, so if you can just get get a clarity, you know what is the receivables which are standing now, uh, that will be helpful. Sir, both questions are coming from the same source. Sir, both questions are coming from the same source. So only this uh, the receivables would be for the present quarter on the present quarter only uh, the pending receivables which is I mean which is going to collect in a monthly basis as per the schedule it's a 30 days 15 days like that only there is no huge outstanding receivables uh, in our books. Okay, sure. So I mean this is following up now. Sure, sir. Uh, just, I just wanted to understand on this LNT order. When should one expect the LNT execution to start? Sorry, sorry. Our uh, LNT order, which is there, the 1250 crores of order from LNT. Uh, so, when uh, the execution of this order will start? We have to get the dates from the suppliers, component suppliers. Okay, but I mean, will anything flow today? And uh, we are uh, just we are got a month back PO. Yeah, this month back PO, there are process. We need to get advance money. We need to release the order. There's a big process, but we are planning to start as quick as possible. But I cannot tell you the exact date. But we are in the focus because this is not a regular uh, product where you can bring materials from market, start tomorrow and go. There are a lot of lead support, licenses, component lead time, special process, many things. But we, we have experience. And once we have the proper uh, uh, the dates from the supplier, mainly and component, so then we can uh, uh, think of uh, the dates. As on day, when I am going to start this, really I don't know. But we want to start as quick as possible. In my, I need to review with a complete. Even though we are not even placed the PO for component, some of the component, so we are still working. And uh, maybe we have a clarity by next month when we are going to start the production. Sure, sure. Will anything going? I mean, will anything be possible for this financial year? Sorry, yes, that's what our plan, and we'll see what is the uh, this thing. Uh, we are on the uh, yes. I want to do this year only some of the quantity at least to start moving around. So that is a uh, target, but still uh, we need to get a confirmation on the uh, lead time of component. Hopefully, I'm going to start. Yeah, some quantity. Okay, sure, sure. And just lastly, on this claims, I mean, uh, sorry to harp on this, but this claims, I mean, you know, claims reconciliation and all. I uh, just wanted to understand what is the frequency of reconciliation. I mean, does the reconciliation happen on every quarterly basis, or does it happen on only monthly basis, or does it happen only after the project gets completed? Because you know, we are having large projects of two to three years. Uh, so, what is the frequency of reconciliation? That depends how much is the. It is a small money. It will go to the end project. it will be a huge money it will be a supported by cash flow if it is a project uh, like uh, we bought some jigs we bought from picture we bought some uh, extra jigs which is uh, away from the program there is a nre there is a company that will go sit on the end of the program but is a huge let us take 100 dollar gone to 200 dollar they will support the cash flow with the supporting document so variation see boss this all uh, Uh, 80 million, 90 million, 120 million. So to get a PO, it has to go to the number one person in the board approval. So they cannot have an authority to change any PO by uh, one guy to change the PO. It has to go. So that is why one guy to change the PO. Hello. It is coming yet. You are able to hear me? Uh, yes, yes, sir. I think the last part was a part echo. Yeah, uh, because this is this is the large PO. It has to be signed by the top level. They cannot do everything amendment. 
and they will go uh, on the program wise then they have had to amend the po then we need to raise a bill then we need to claim back the money and this is a regular process it is not new to us okay this is happening from last 7 8 years it is not new to us because the program we what we are running through uh, the more consumption now ranil has to climb back from dcs dcs to climb back from the end customer so once normally three three portion one is it will happen in the midway it will happen in the uh, the last of the program or end of the program that depends on the cash flow okay understood sure yeah uh, that's it from my side yeah. Thank yeah. you. The next question will be from the line of Praveen Gamle from Ananya Research. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity, sir. I think most of my questions have been answered. I just wanted to understand on the tax mm -hmm. part. So, the coming year, what will be the tax rate? What will be? That's off your mind. Thank you. Rosanna. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, tax part means in what angle? Uh, I'm there asking. I do not know. In the standalone basis, uh, we are in uh, ACZ and we have completed first five years. So, as per Section 10AA, we are eligible for the uh, tax benefit of 50% for the programs or the for the project which we are doing direct exports. The rest of the things it will be as usual normal tax rate. When it comes to uh, running, it is a uh, 15% of flat tax rate plus the sets and the sets and the applicable. Okay, do you have any? That running is irrespective of export, irrespective of uh, domestic. Correct, Prasanna, for 15%. Yes, yes, for running it is immaterial. Yeah. So it's a standard rate. Okay, got it, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The last follow-up question will be from the line of Deepak Saha from TR Choksi Sensor. Please go ahead. Sir, uh, one last thing. Uh, can you give any number on the order pipeline drop figure? Sorry, sorry, Deepak. Repeat, karo. Uh, sir, please Hello. can you give any broad number on the order pipeline? Uh, how how is the order pipeline is looking? <laughs> It is really healthy. I told you I cannot give the numbers. See, normally when uh, I got a PO, within 24 hours you will came to know. Okay, I will never even though see the process. I need to check legal. I have to check if this PO is okay. I will not even wait uh, immediately and all. But one thing I can tell you, all my dearest uh, investors, pipelines are very very healthy, very good. Thank you, sir. Understood. Thank you, and all the best for rest of the year, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was the last question for today. I now hand the conference over to Dr. Raghavendra Rao for closing comments. <laughs> Thank you all for your continued trust and support and taking the time to join us today on this call. I want to extend my appreciation to the. entire dcx team for their dedication and hard work i would also like to thank for our prestigious investor customer suppliers bankers and auditor for this continued support and i want to tell you in the last dcx is fully focused opportunity is very good and company is fully focused on the business and pipeline orders are very good visibility is very good and also we extend our all our uh, arms to wherever possible on the other uh, uh, areas like india and other countries and uh, please please uh, have the uh, complete visibility on dcx we are fully focused and we are we are 100% confidence to get more more orders and will grow this company in big way thank you so much for all your support jai hind jai karnataka thank you all On behalf of DCX Systems Limited, that concludes the conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.